morning, Brent Abel here, Web Tennis, and uh, today we're working on the two-handed backhand, and we've got a, a point here, a video clip of uh, uh, Djokovic and Murray, uh, two of the great two-handed backhands in the game. But one thing I want to show you here is a point where uh, Murray's serving, and he's going to get a short ball over to this two-handed backhand. And one thing that I want us to be looking at is not only is if you are in the, if you're right-handed and you're in the deuce side and you serve out wide and you really hit a good out wide serve, you've got to be looking for something short. And number one, we sort of went over this tip a couple weeks ago. When you serve and stay back and you know that you've got your returner stretched out, you've got to be inside this baseline looking for something short. And that's exactly what Murray gets. Now, here's what I want us to work on. Um, this guy, obviously, one of the best players uh, in the world, he can get away with this. One of the tips that we're working on right now through Jeff Salzenstein's free video tips in the two-handed backhand is to make sure that the grip tension is relaxed enough so that you can get some racket speed. But the other thing that you've got to commit to is a turn through the ball with your shoulders towards your target. Now, here's one thing that Murray gets away with, is he doesn't really, we talk about this a lot, spacing the ball so that you line yourself up to where you could naturally be on balance when you execute the shot. Well, in this one, Andy's a little bit too far away from the ball, and yet he wants to go cross court, and so he's got to kind of jump forward through it, um, and he can get away with it, but we can't. So what I want you thinking about is a couple things here. Number one, if you're right-handed with this two-handed backhand, you serve out wide of the deuce court, you get a short ball. I want you to jump on this thing, and I almost want you to crowd it a little bit, not jam yourself with it, but get close enough to it so that as you decide to, with your soft, relaxed hand grip, no grip tension, when you decide to turn through this ball with the shoulders, that you naturally are turning towards this corner and able to move towards that target as you hit it, unlike what we see Murray doing here. And again, I'm not I'm not criticizing him because uh, he can get away with this because of his talent, but we can't. So make sure that right here you get that short return to serve. You get close enough to it that you could turn through it and allow your body weight to really kind of go in that direction naturally because you'd want to follow this ball in, which he eventually does, uh, gets gets the short lob, and there you have it. So right below the video, let me know. Give me some feedback if this uh, tip helps you at all, what you're thinking about. Looking forward to hearing from you. Have a great day out there. Hi, it's Brent back here with you, and I know that recently you've been hearing about my ravings about this fantastic nutritional product that Tony Dawson turned me on to right after Thanksgiving 2012 called Life Shots, and you know, Life Shots uh, has been paying us uh, referral income for uh, turning people on to Life Shots, talking about our experiences, and um, and having them try it for themselves, and so. You know, how about you? Would you know? Would you like to take a quick look at the Life Shots referral income opportunity? I mean, it literally takes less than five minutes on the phone with me for me to explain it to you. It's really, really very simple. Send me an email, Brent at webtennis.com. Looking forward to hearing from you. Have a great day out there.